Hello, this is Nico San, and in this video, I will show you how to use the VRChat Speech Assistant. Can I have your soul? Oh, shit! Uh, okay, oh. I really need to think about fixing this bridge. I'm going to ask you a question only a human would know. How many of them do humans have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. How many of them do humans have? Told me, <laughs> you're no human. The application itself is quite easy to use. Just select a source language, the language you want to speak with, and the target language. If you use any other languages than the source language, it will automatically translate what you say uh, with a DeepL service. Ceci est une démonstration de la reconnaissance vocale. This is a demonstration of speech recognition. DeepL is a very powerful translator that I use almost every day. The first thing you need to do is to install a virtual cable. It will be used as a virtual microphone input for um, VRChat. Here, when it will be done, you will see a new input and output. Download the latest release of my application. You can find the download link in my uh, page here. I didn't make any installing version for the moment. So just download the zip file here and then uh, unzip it somewhere you want. Uh, launch the VRChat speech assistant.exe on the folder inside. So let's just say I want to speak in my native language, which is French, and I want to speak in German. The formality option is a um, feature that allows you to choose between formal and informal tone of voice for your translation. You can also use extra tags. Uh, for Amazon Poly, a feature called Whispered can allow you to uh, whisper the voice. Then you can select uh, your voice. You have different voice available depending of the language. Some of the languages don't have any voices available. So that means that you won't be able to speech your text, but you can use the VRChat checkbox uh, anyway. Then you need to select your input device, which is your microphone. And on the output device, for testing purpose, you can uh, select one of your output device to to hear your own voice, but in the end, you want to use the cable input, which will be your uh, virtual microphone input for uh, VRChat. Checking this box, and you will be able to output your text into the VRChat chat box. When everything is set up, you can press this button here, and the application will enter into a uh, listening mode. Press it back to disable it. Cette application m'a permis de rencontrer beaucoup de personnes et m'a aidé à traduire certaines phrases que je ne pouvais pas traduire. This application allowed me to meet many people and helped me to translate some sentences that I couldn't translate. During the listening, you will hear a uh, three different bit. The first one is when the application itself is enabled. The second one is when the application have difficulties to understand what you said. And the third one is when the application is disabled. If you connect any more devices uh, when the application was already launched, you can uh, click on edit and then refresh uh, devices. You can find all the general voices using file and open voices folder. The voice output volume is pretty loud and I recommend you to use uh, the output volume in VRChat uh, up to 30 person. To be able to use the chat box in VRChat, you need to go to your quick menu, option, OSC and make sure that this feature is uh, enabled. Est-ce que je vous ai déjà dit que j'aimais beaucoup ce monde? I think that's it. If you have any question, you can contact me in Discord. The Discord is on my GitLab page. Thank you and have a great time in VRChat.